Hi everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play Sims 3 challenge. For this challenge I will be doing a combination of the Perfect Genetics Challenge and Midnight Sun Challenge. I will post the link to both challenges in the description so you can check them out if you want. <laughs> this is a 10 generation challenge so it's going to be pretty long. Well, as long as we're successful anyway. <laughs> I'm sure most of you are probably already familiar with the rules for both of these since they are pretty popular, but I will just briefly explain the objective of the challenges for those of you who are maybe not too familiar with these challenges. I'll try to be as brief as possible. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. It's not too complicated. Basically, we have to have 10 generations of Sims with the perfect genetics, which are the same hair and eye color as the founder, which in my case are turquoise hair with white highlights and white tips and very light aqua eyes. You can see her here with her eyes and her hair. So they're very unique. Uh, so if our child has those traits, it should be fairly obvious. <laughs> you cannot use any child that does not have these traits to continue the next generation. They must have these traits in order to continue the bloodline. So they have to have these aqua eyes and aqua turquoisey hair. <laughs> crazy hair, <laughs> crazy eyes, crazy hair. Well, beautiful eyes, I think. <laughs> Um, let me see, um, yeah, I think that's it for the perfect genetics. Uh, for the added challenge, I decided to combine this with the Midnight Sun challenge, which contains this special world that I am on. You can see the whole world is just this little lot here. <laughs> so it's not a big world, so... Hopefully it doesn't cause us too any lag or anything. <laughs> Our sim here will be in complete isolation on a deserted island and must continue the bloodline here. In order to find a mate, she will have to travel since obviously there's no one here to interact with on the island. It's just our little lot. It's just, it's just us. Um, we're only allowed to travel three times but we can't go to the same location more than twice. I think that's everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to know our sim. We have Melody Rivers. Let me see, make sure I got that right. <laughs> Melody Rivers, and we have her traits here. We made her vegetarian, which uh, I randomized her traits, so I didn't choose anything except for the dislikes children. I did not want vegetarian because it's going to make our life a little harder since we have no food. <laughs> She's going to have to fish and eat fish, so hopefully that won't make her sick. <laughs> she is eco-friendly, which I'm glad. You know, I think that will give her some nice moodlets. Uh, dislikes children, obviously. She loves the heat, so I think that's going to come in handy in the summer, which is now, but maybe not so much in the winter. <laughs> and she's friendly, so hopefully that's going to help us um with finding a man because <laughs> we need to get started on having those kids as soon as we you know get enough money to travel <laughs> um so those are her traits i do have her age set to normal um i took out the um uh, i have all the weather and everything from seasons i did take out the snow just because uh they said uh, in the challenge that the snow looks a little weird on this island, so I just went ahead and took it off. Oh well. <laughs> I do like the snow, it's pretty fun, but you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, you know, might as well get rid of it. Um, I do have the register mod and the no shopping from fridge mod, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> we can't shop from the fridge. Not that we have a fridge, we, don't, we can't even afford a fridge and we don't have one. But when we do get one, we're going to have to have food on hand to make. So that's going to add a little more of a challenge, but I think it's more fun that way. And the register is just to get rid of any paparazzi or, you know, random animals or anything that want to pop up on the island. I'm just, you know, with the register model will definitely help with that. So we can minimize those things from happening. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got her the little tablet here, so I'm going to go ahead and have her listen to the Tabcast 
writing typecast. And um, I want her to fish because obviously we need food. So we definitely want to make that a priority. And you can see there's not much on this lot. The lot was pretty expensive, you know, for one of its size. It, I think they purposely did it that way so that you are left with very little money. So that obviously left us with barely anything to have our lot here. So you can see we have, we have nothing. <laughs> we have a toilet here on a wall. We have a shower, a little fire pit to cook, a tent, a painting, because we need to make money. And I did invest in a computer here because She's going to need to make money. I thought writing would be a good way to do that. And I did get her the Tabcast, the little tablet thing, so that she can listen to the Tabcast. And um, I'm just going to put this. So I'm going to put this above the toilet. <laughs> she can put her diploma above the toilet. So I thought with the Tabcast, she can learn her skills a little easier, a little faster, multitask. Um, okay, let's try making her fish here. Fish here because we need food. Um, if the fish does make her sick since she's vegetarian, uh, it's just it's going to be too bad. <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. Because, um, yeah, we have, we can't afford a fridge. We have, no, we have no seeds or anything to plant. So, I mean, she's just going to have to be sick for a while until we can afford to travel and maybe buy some some things that we can plant. Let's see. Okay, so she's improving her writing. Join writer career. Well, she can't join any career, so sorry. Um, go ahead and fast forward until she does that. After she catches some fish, I'm gonna have her practice painting. So I'm going to make her do small paintings just because, um, oh, I can't see the skill journal. Let me see. And the, oh, we got the little teleporter thing for the time travel, which we won't be able to travel to the future. So I'm just going to put that in the inventory. But anyways, um, where is it? Once, oh, oh, she only has writing. Okay, so I can't see the painting one, but basically... Once she she gets some sort of boost or something, once she re makes 30 paintings, so if we just do the 30 small paintings, it will be easier to do it faster. Faster to get it. Okay, she's catching fish, got it. Okay, fishing level two. Actually, you know what? You're done fishing. I think you've got enough. You've got enough fish for now. Oh, what in the world? Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Random things spawning. <laughs> um, okay, I can't... That is a weird-looking horse. Not only do we have a horse here, but it had to be just the weirdest-looking thing. Okay. Alright, sorry guys, I'm going to have to just do the, um, ah, why is it not typing? Okay, there we go. I just need to delete this. Okay, there we go. That's all I needed to do, so don't want to do any cheats, but I just needed to delete that thing because that was... A weird looking creature there <laughs> and I did not want to deal with it did not want to deal with that at all okay I'm also gonna see I want to sell it but I don't want to give her too much of an advantage so I probably will sell it just not right now I'm gonna wait till she makes a little bit of money on her own I'm just gonna put in the family inventory for now and then I'll sell it later I don't want to make things too easy for myself but I probably will sell it eventually. 
So let's have her just paint here. And let me see. Okay, I'm going to have her... She's starting to get hungry, so I'm going to light the fire. And she's not going to watch that wild horse. <laughs> not going to happen. Okay, learn gardening skill. You're going to need to do that, but not yet. Become friends with someone. There's no one for you to become friends with, but maybe once we travel. That's not going to happen for a while, though, so... Sorry. All right, so let's roast this nice anchovy here. Hopefully she doesn't get sick. We'll see. She probably will, but you never know. We might get lucky. Okay, let's sell her awesome $2 painting here. Let's see what she painted. Oh, how nice. She painted... Is that a cat and a bird and... I don't know. $2 painting. Let's sell it. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to sell her camera too. Doesn't say anything against that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Alright. Roasting her nice piece of fish there, even though she's a vegetarian. Buy a fridge. You can't afford yeah. it. Well, maybe she mm. can now. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have waited on that camera. Oh well. Uh, let's see. She wants to learn painting. We'll do painting instead of gardening. Actually, I should have just put that on the tab cast. Is she learning anything now? No. Listen to writing. Okay, and then I'm going to set up her tent. I think that's good. All right, she get she didn't get sick, yay! She can eat fish and not get sick. I think if she eats, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm all, I'm positive that if she eats fish in a dish, she will get sick. I don't know why if she roasts it, she's not getting sick. Maybe I got lucky, or maybe she just doesn't get sick if she just eats the fish. But I don't know. Yeah, cause she, hmm. Well, that's good to know. At least, well, hopefully, I'll see you again. We'll. We'll do it again later, obviously. Um, if she keeps eating it and not getting sick, then that is awesome. I learned something new about the vegetarians in the game. What is she doing? Chat with someone? You can't chat with anybody. Are you li you're not listening to the Tapcast. Why are you not doing what I'm asking? Listen to Tapcast, writing, and then come paint something. Practice painting small. Come on. Listen to me. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward through this. So let's see. Okay, awesome. Uh, Writing skill level two. Uh -huh. See, that's why I like getting the the tablet because they learn really quickly, really quickly. So that's that's always nice. Um, let me see. Okay, she's improving on her painting. Let's move on through that. And then I'm going to let her sleep. Because she's to actually use the restroom first. <laughs> okay, use. Take a quick shower and then go to sleep. After you finish your painting here. What in the world is that? Five simoleons. All right. So, big, uh, big earner here. Five simoleons. <laughs> okay. We have no doors, no buildings, nothing. Just this wall. So, she's out in the open doing her business, which is okay because there's no one here to see her. Look, it's all ocean. Oh, let's look at the sun. Look at how nice that looks. How beautiful is that? Wouldn't that be nice to have a view of that all the time, every day? But yeah, so I don't think she's too worried about anybody seeing her because there's no one here to see her. So <laughs> everything's outdoors right now. <laughs> we can't afford any uh, any rooms. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause really quick and I'll be back when she okay, wakes up. So Melody just woke up. I'm going to have her eat something because she's very hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to let her go ahead and eat. And um, then, oh, I just had her light the fire. My bad. Okay, roast something. Roast another anchovy. My bad. No, stop doing that. Don't do that. Okay. So the mailman did appear here to give us our bills, you know, briefly. Um, we obviously can't interact with him or anything, so if they do spawn, you can't do anything about that. They'll just disappear, but um, yeah, we're not allowed to interact with them, so we're not going to. Um, an interesting thing about this island is that... You can never tell when it's night. The sun doesn't really go down. It doesn't really get dark. I mean, I think like around like 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning, it starts to get a little dark, but it doesn't become full, full on night. So it's hard to keep track of time here if you're not looking at the clock, <laughs> which is kind of nice because it's easier to see everything. But uh, yeah, I think that's why it's called uh, Isle of the Midnight Sun. Because the sun is up at midnight. <laughs> so that's interesting. So I'm going to have her pay her bills. She ate. Let me see. Did she get sick? She didn't get sick. Yay. You know what? I think she can eat fish. At least roasting it. So that is awesome. I was really worried that she was going to keep getting sick from eating the fish. I was so bummed when she got the vegetarian treat. Um, but yeah, she's not getting sick. So awesome. Yay! Um, okay. Let me see. Just gonna have her paint and... How much is a fish worth? I think she might actually... get more money from selling the fish than painting. So maybe I should have her just fish... instead of learning all the painting. Um... Okay, let me put her on the tab cast again. I really want her to get her writing up until she can write the sports because I think that pays out the most until she reaches the top. I don't know. Let me see. Here's the skill journal here. Can, oh, she can write sports now. See, it's like a short length, so she should write it fairly, fairly quickly, and it's like three of the little simoleon signs so uh yeah i i'm gonna get her on um, writing after she finishes this painting i'm gonna make her write a sports book so we really want to make money quickly so we can travel already and start making babies because we do not know how many tries it's gonna take to get that perfect genetics child. So we want to get started on that quickly. Quickly, quickly. Okay, let me fast forward here a little bit. Okay, so she improved her painting. She wants to visit Egypt. Yeah, we'll take you to Egypt. I I think I might go to Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Egypt or France. I don't really like um, China too much just because everything is just so spread out. Well, I guess it's like that in all the places, but for some reason, whenever I go to China, it just, I don't know, it seems to take longer for me. And I don't feel like there's a lot, there's enough for me to explore there, so... I don't know. Maybe I'll have her go to China. I'll see. But I definitely want her to go to Egypt because I feel like that's where you can get the most amount of simoleons and France also. Um, well, I'll think about ch about uh, going to China. I'll think about it. Mm, let's give her this one instead. She wants to write a book worth at least 30 simoleons a week in royalty. I think we can do that. But uh, we're going to have to cancel this. And give you that one. Because this one's worth more lifetime happiness points. 
Hmm. So let me check on her needs. Hmm. Okay, she's okay for now. So fast forward through that. <laughs> it's just one sim and there's not much here. So there's going to be a lot of fast forwarding. Um, not a whole lot of action quite yet. I'm sure once we travel and once we start having kids, it's going to be chaos and it's going to be crazy and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of pausing. <laughs> so for now, enjoy the forwarding. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's have her use the bathroom, take a shower. So I really like this little island outfit she has. I, I don't like that I can't, I wanted to use this outfit that she's wearing for like everything, but it doesn't let me, it only has it for her every day. So I had to just pick random stuff for her other outfits. I think I do have her, like everything is like turquoise and white, just because I wanted to have like a common theme with her clothing. Um, but... Yeah, it kind of sucks. I wanted to use this outfit for everything. So that's sad. But oh well. Okay, she's starting to get warm. She's going to get burned soon. It's okay. Let's have her light fire. Maybe we'll have her swim. I think that'll cool her down. After she eats. <laughs> or maybe I'll just have her go to sleep. Look, it's 9 p.m. See, this is what I'm telling you guys. It's 9 p.m. and it's like broad daylight. You can't even tell it's night at all. So, and I, as it is in real life, I have no concept of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder for me in the game to realize what time it is and what time she has to go to bed. <laughs> so, that's going to be hard for me to keep track of. So, bear with me. Bear with me. All right, so let's have her go to sleep after this. And actually, you know what? Before you go to bed, go ahead and fish a little bit. I want to have a little bit of, just make a little bit of money before you go to bed. You can do that. You can make a little bit of money, and then you can go to bed. Because, mm. girl, we need to, like, get money fast. I think we need... Like 1,600 simoleons for Egypt or and like 1,900 for France. I think. I could be wrong. But I think that's what I remember seeing. My memory is terrible though, so don't trust my word. <laughs> All right. um, actually, you know what? Before you do that, listen to the tabcast because I want you to always be working on your skills. Because the higher your skill level, the more money you can make. Because we are dirt poor right now. Dirt poor. Okay. Then you can sleep. Make a little bit of money. Then sleep. Then you'll get your reward. So. Let me see. Let's fast forward through that. I won't let's do it until she catches five fish. Alright. So she improved her writing to level five. Awesome. So she's leveling that up quickly. Alright, so she is going to bed. And let me see, I think enough time has passed now. So I think uh, this is going to be a good place to leave off today. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!